Go, team, Cure Coin. Hey, this is Ivan from the Cure Coin team. Today we are going to build a Cure Coin QT wallet on a Linux Ubuntu 16.04 desktop system. First of all, you'll need to install your Ubuntu system, log in, and open up a web browser and go to GitHub and then find the Cure Coin source. Once you are in the Cure Coin source, you're going to want to download the source code and uh, I'm going to just choose the download zip and save the file. I can check the progress of my download here. This may take several minutes depending on your system resources and bandwidth. Alright, the uh, Cure Coin Source Master has downloaded. We're going to go into the downloads page and I'm going to take the uh, latest one that I've downloaded and move it to my home folder. Once I'm in the home folder, I'm going to unzip it here with the archive manager. I'm using a lot of the um, desktop tools, but you certainly are welcome to use command line for this if you're more inclined. I'm going to extract it in my home directory. Extraction complete, and I'll just show the files here. Those are all the um, uh, source code master files that we're going to be building off of. Close all your windows, except your Firefox or your Chrome window. You're going to need this for further instructions. Um, in the build instructions, go into the standard installation and go into the section where it says installation for Linux from source. Um, we've already downloaded the source, so we're going to go to the uh, client GUI build instructions and we're going to open up a terminal window. We're going to need to update our dependencies so that the wallet can build properly. And I'm just going to copy and paste this first line. I already have these components installed on my system, but for the exercise we're just going to paste it in and run apt-get anyway. And this will install all the dependencies that are required to build the wallet on your Ubuntu system. Okay, since everything's already installed, uh, I'm good to go. So my next step is to go into the Cure Coin Source master directory. There you can see the contents. And the next step is simply to do a QMake, ampersand, ampersand, make. We do that at the Cure Coin Source Master directory and let that run. Now this again will take several minutes to complete based on your system resources. Okay, the build is done. Now we can check to see the contents of our folder or our directory. And you'll notice that there is a new executable here called Cure Coin QT. You can tell this is a binary. Uh, once we start the CureCoin QT, and I'm going to do a dot slash, and then I do an ampersand to put it into a separate thread. This will open the QT wallet. And as you can see, it looks very much like the Windows wallet. Um, the only difference is where the menus at the top appear. Um, they only appear if you click at the very top of the screen. And you'll get your typical options like file, um, backup, um, encrypt your wallet, and the debug window is up here as well. And right now this is uh, syncing with the network. You'll notice that after you start it, uh, there is a new directory that gets 
created and under the um, home directory you'll notice that there is a dot curecoin directory up here. Um, if we cd into that directory and ls, you'll notice that it's the typical file content of a cryptocurrency wallet. The .dat files, there's a wallet.dat file, there's debug log, there's the database. So this means that the wallet is working and it's syncing right now. Uh, this may take uh, several minutes uh, to actually sync. Now that I'm done with building the QT wallet, I am going to move it into <clears throat> my home folder. Okay, now we are going to create a CureCoin QT shortcut on your desktop. So, right now, CureCoin QT is located in the CureCoin source masters directory. Um, we're going to open up our file manager, go into the CureCoin source, and we're going to make a link. There's the link to the CureCoin QT. I'm going to rename this to just CureCoin. And I'm going to change the properties and change the default icon to something that looks like a CureCoin symbol. So go into the source master, go into the source QT. RES, images, wallet BG coin PNG. That done. We've got a shortcut to the CureCoin QT wallet, which I'm going to move to the desktop. Close the file manager, minimize my terminal, minimize my Firefox and start my CureCoin QT wallet from my desktop. And I'm going to open a debug window so I can watch the progress of the blockchain database being updated. And that concludes the instruction set for building your CureCoin QT GUI client for Ubuntu Linux. Thanks for watching.